So I've been meaning to get around to making this video for a while, but just kind of been cold or busy lately. Um, thought I would go over some cool things that you could add to your truck that works really well with the Diamondback cover and Yakima Overhaul HD. Um, sorry if it's a little windy today, but at least it's not freezing. Uh, to kind of start, some of the things you can get from Diamondback directly, of course, is the cover and the overhaul rack. Uh, the other thing they have here is there's a product that they did in conjunction with Built Right and Diamondback for the Molly panels. Uh, I've got an F-150, so I was able to do the measurements and realize I could get two of them on the back side here. I uh, think it works a little bit better than their rail system if you want to put a lot of different small things there. Uh, of course in the back I've got their tool bin. I've added a track system to the back of that so I could attach my uh, uh, my traction board to kind of keep it up and out of the way so if I want to slide some things under there I can. So it works pretty good. Um, so some things that you can get that I really like uh, kind of going along with the theme of built right they've got these bedside panels that are pretty fantastic um, you can also add footings for pack out attachments to these um, I didn't get the mounts for the front side of the bed or the the track mount for the front of the bed uh, because I've got the toolbox they just aren't useful for me uh, but what I did go ahead and get, if you want to try to have a place for everything in your rig, is uh, their seat back panels. And they're pretty awesome. This one, I've kind of got everything here. The other one, the kid tends to kick and get dirty, so I don't use it as much right now. Um, with Yakima, some of the products that you can get that kind of make it pretty awesome is uh, they have some... Uh, item specific parts for like uh, an eye ring here if you want to put it on the track um, if you have your your uh, bars set in line with each other they have a crossbar that kind of goes across it to tie these together I didn't do that on my setup because I always planned on being able to lift my my lid up whenever I want to um, you could also go ahead and add HD crossbars to the top of your truck. Um, this should give me the ability to do longer boats in the future if I want to, um, or I could add a, a rack to it. Um, I kind of went with these just because they fit the, the look of the truck, and um, I, I really like the Yakima product. Uh, the one thing I didn't like with Yakima, though, was that they had a wind fairing. I did not like that at all. Uh, I tend to rattle and make noise when it was in use. Uh, unfortunately, by the time I was kind of done testing it out, I didn't really get a chance to return it. So I wouldn't recommend that, but there might be a company that I look into in the future that's a little bit better. Um, probably one of the last products. Well, I guess there's one more with Yakima. You can actually order extras of their little locks here for the track. I've got one on each uh, each arm or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I kind of like that because if you want to lock something to one, you don't have to make sure it's the one that's attached to the bed and people can't really jack with it this way. Probably the last thing that I have here that's a good companion item for this setup is uh, Amp Research sells some bed steps. If you have a toolbox in the back, it is very handy because you can get right up in there and see what you're doing and grab what you want. Uh, it also makes it really handy if you're trying to tie something down on your bars. Um, it's kind of a good idea to carry around a step ladder if you're going to be doing that a lot. Uh, but this kind of helps you get there for some quick access as needed. And also, if you've got somebody helping you, they can kind of work with the ladder while you work with the steps. And I've actually got three of them. I got one on each side of the toolbox, and I got one back here. I really wish I had one for the other end here, but I don't think Amp Research is interested in making one for this side. Uh, it's kind of a shame because they work really well. Um, they are a bit of a pain in the butt to put on sometimes just because you're in tight quarters and sometimes you need a torque wrench 
and things like that. But um, these, this was just kind of a quick video to show you some other things that you could try. Uh, as spring gets closer and it's be better for camping and boating season, I'm probably going to start adding some things to these molly panels to just make them a little handier. Um, for the pack out mounts, I'll probably do some things that I normally grab pretty frequently there and should be a pretty good setup for us here. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave something in the comments. Uh, I'll try to do some more videos this spring. Uh, I kind of changed the way I tied down my boats um, just from experience of having them this summer and I never really made an update for that. So hopefully this is helpful to someone. I'll try to put some general links in the, in the description so you can find them yourself. Thanks.